Hey everyone, welcome back. Several weeks ago, I filmed a video on my favorite cream shadow sticks, and I asked you if you had wanted to see my other favorite cream shadows that were not in stick form, that were kind of more in pot form, and many of you said yes, so that's what I'm going to share with you today. These are like my favorite, favorite, favorite cream shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have four that are more affordable and drugstore that I just always always reach for and i absolutely love and obviously would recommend okay so three are maybelline color tattoos the first one is a great basic to have and it's barely branded okay barely branded is a really nice kind of beige toned champagne color it's really really pretty and i think this is great using alone or if you're going to use an eyeshadow similar similar to this on top to like really intensify that color or make it last a lot longer but these I have worn alone, especially like this one and another one that I'm going to show you from Maybelline. I just, I think they're great alone. I will show you swatches because I feel like that would help. And so there it is right there. Very, very pigmented as you can tell. And let's see, I will do, I guess we'll do a swatch right here. I really don't know how they're all going to fit, but there is barely branded right there. So one of my favorites. Okay. The other one is one that I, I think I mentioned recently like in a favorites video and it is bad to the bronze which again is a really nice bronze color but I feel like it has like hints of taupe in there okay, so here is a swatch a messy swatch of bad to the bronze again it's so beautiful and this is another color that I wear alone so sometimes I layer shadow on top of these and then sometimes I just wear them alone so there they are right there so that is barely branded and that is bad to the bronze the next one from the color tattoos that I really love is pomegranate punk. This is like a must have during like the fall winter for me. I love, love, love this color. And I know so many of you do as well. It's a really nice, I mean, very true kind of like a purpley wine kind of color. I don't know. It's really, really pretty. So let's see if I can get a good swatch on my hand. So there we go. There's that one. It's kind of like, yeah, like kind of like a maroony plum kind of color really really pretty great for layering other similar color shadows on top so there's pomegranate punk right there okay the next one i have is from elf and it's one of the long lasting lustrous eyeshadows this is one of my favorite colors i really like these eyeshadow cream shadows in general except for the white one and the silver one those i do not like at least the ones that i have were just crappy basically um, but this is so pretty. I love the color. I love the finish. This is beautiful layered on top of pomegranate punk and it's super affordable. So this one is in the shade soiree and it's kind of like a, oh, how do you describe the, it's kind of like a pink. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm going to make, start making stuff up if I, if I try to really try to describe it. I don't know. It's kind of like a pinky purple maybe or a pinky plum. So here it is. It does have like shimmer in there so if you don't like a lot of shimmer on your eyes these are not going to be for you i will say that much but if you don't mind looking a little glam and shimmery on your eyes and this is great alone or again layered on top of cream shadows like the pomegranate punk or any of the other ones depending on what color you get obviously but this is soiree right there so really really pretty Okay, the next one I have is from MAC, and I think this is like a really great basic deep brown, I don't know, kind of color, really pretty, definitely different from Bad to the Bronze, and it's MAC's Constructivist, but this is Constructivist right here. It's a great, great color. I love this for like a deep kind of bronzy eye. You can see how deep and brown that is, but it's gorgeous. So there is Constructivist right there. The other one, I feel like from this brand, they're very hit and miss, at least for me. So there's been like one or two that I've returned and another couple that I'm selling. They're just very hit and miss for me. And it's the Chanel Illusion de Ombres. And this one I really, really do love. I think this is like the best one of all the ones that I've had. And this is in the shade Epitant. This is the shade right here. It's more of a sage green. It's kind of like a metallic sage green i don't know how to describe it it's really really pretty very different this one is definitely um very creamy very pigmented just beautiful and kind of like metallic-y so different from any other cream shadow that i have and this is one 
that I would definitely recommend of all the Chanel Illusion to Ombres that I've had. So here it is right here. Hopefully it's coming out okay. We seem to have some decent lighting out today. Of course, I can never tell when I'm filming, but when I play it back, hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, the next two I've definitely mentioned um, a few times, I would say, and I just, I can't help it. I really, really do love them. I love everything about them, and it is Buxom's Pug. So this one is kind of like a taupey, purple kind of color. It's really, really soft in consistency, very similar to the e.l.f. cream or long-lasting cream shadow. This one is just so beautiful. It's, again, like a purpley, taupe, gray kind of color, very, very pigmented and beautiful alone. I wear this one alone with just an eyeshadow primer on the bottom and it works just fine. So there it is right there. I don't put any eyeshadow on top. I just let this act as my eyeshadow. Same thing with the Epitone. I just use it over um, a clear primer and that is pretty much it. No layering eyeshadow on top for those two. Okay, the next one is another Buxom and it's in the shade Mutt. I love this beautiful bronze color. I wear this a lot during the summer and it's just, oh, it's so, so pretty. I don't even know what to tell you other than it's gorgeous. So there is Buxom's Mutt. And I keep saying that I want to get more of these, and I really, really do. I just always forget every time I'm in Sephora because there's usually something else that I'm going in to look for. But these are really, really nice. So if you don't have any of these and you're looking to kind of expand your collection or you're looking for a certain color, um, definitely check those out because they're really, really great. So this is Mutt right here. And again, this is another one that I use mostly alone. Sometimes I do layer this on top of like Bad to the Bronze, but most of the time I just wear it alone with just a crease color. So these three are great alone. All right, so the next two are from Laura Mercier and I really like the packaging on these. I think, as I just dropped it, I think that this is um, probably the best packaging to put like a cream shadow in just because you can get everything out and it's less likely to dry out as quick than in pot form i think so i love these two they're really really pigmented a little bit goes a long way with these so even though the packaging looks really small you need the tiniest amount you don't need a whole lot of product on these so the first one is in the shade alloy and alloy is that like again kind of like grayish silver kind of taupe color i don't know where i'm where i'm gonna put it so i guess i'll just put it on the side and the sun seems to be going away, so we'll see how that works out. There is alloy right there. So, and I used just a little bit for that. The next color is in the shade Burnished Copper, and it's a very true kind of like ruddy brown, very true copper color. I mean, it's just, it's right on. Okay, so there is Burnished Copper right there. Again, you can see some red tones to it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful red brown. The last one that I have is from Jouer, and this is in the shade Cashmere. It is a beautiful, um, it's a different gold. It's kind of like a golden bronze color, I would say. It has like a little mirror in it, which is very unique to other cream shadows. I also really like this packaging. So I prefer something like this or this over the like glass pots. I don't know why, I just do. So um, this is Cashmere right here. That's what it looks like in the packaging beautiful golden bronze color and here is a swatch right there so you definitely see a lot of gold tones to that so there is cashmere beautiful beautiful color okay so I'm gonna run through the swatches one more time like I typically do and we'll go ahead and start right here in the order that they were mentioned so this is Maybelline's color tattoo and barely branded Maybelline color tattoo and bad to the bronze Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk, Elf Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Soiree. Over here we have Max Paint Pot in Constructivist, Chanel Illusion to Ombre in Epitot, Buxom Cream Shadow in Pug, Buxom Cream Shadow in Mutt, Laura Mercier Cream Shadow in Alloy, Laura Mercier Cream Shadow in Burnished Copper and Jouer Cream Eyeshadow in Cashmere. So there they all are. Hopefully you guys can see them and get a fair representation of the color. 
Those are my other favorite cream shadows. And honestly, I feel like if I had to get rid of all my cream shadows and only keep, I don't know, however many of these are, 10 or 11, these would be the ones that I would keep in my collection if I had to get rid of everything else because these colors are so great, like alone or with powder shadow on top. I just, I really, really love these and gravitate towards all of these. These are my most loved and most reached for and the ones that I would definitely recommend to all of you if you are looking for something like this. So if you have any recommendations for us, please leave those down below in the comment section. I hope you're having a great day or night, and I will see you very soon. Bye.